Huskies in the heart of downtown Toronto, it's Gallagher, presented by JBC. Tonight, from the WWF, it's wrestler Owen Hart. Plus, Johnny goes Christmas shopping with Pal Venus and Kurgan. And it's an all WWF edition of the G-Files. Get online and interact with us on the internet. Log on and find us at www.tsn.ca slash Gallagher and send us an email, comment, or question for tonight's guest. And now, here's your host, John Gallagher! And uh, season's greetings to you people here in the studio audience and you people in Picto, Nova Scotia. Now, this has been a terrific week here at the Gallagher Show so far. Last night, we had Brett the Hitman Hard. Ah, oh, but there's more. Tonight, we're going to keep it in the family with none other than the WWF's Owen Hart coming up right here. Yeah, gotta love the wrestling. Wendy, we're in the middle of a wrestling bonanza. Ladies and gentlemen, please say hi to our lovely Wendy. Wendy. Internet question has to do with our very special guest Owen Hart, and we would like to know what is your favorite Owen Hart nickname? Hmm, quite a few to choose from. We've got the Rocket, King of Hearts. Uh, let's see, Blue Blazer, infamous Blue Blazer, or of course there's Nugget and Black Hart. Uh, dial us up right here online. Let us know your favorite. Johnson, you got a favorite? Oh well, it's got to be the King of Hearts. But if he comes out here and gives me the old double underhook suplex, well, it'll be anything Mr. Hart wants me to call him, huh? Hey, let's get to those highlights you ordered. They're brought to you by Molson Canadian. And here's where we're starting. We're starting in Florida. Beckla Prospel already out with a high stick and penalty. Cross checks Paul Louse in the face. Gets five minutes. Louse glad to have his teeth, but does he still have his teeth? Panthers in the power play. Victor Kozlov, ba boom scores. Minute later, Rob Niedermeyer scores. Same power play. Dino Cicerelli rebounds, scores. Kozlov again, 4-0. What do you know? Chuck Martin says, guys, you've got the score on this power play, all right? And start to come out. Jason York's point start. Uh, watch this nice bounce in off the goalie, but Florida wins it. They hang on six to five. At Madison Square, the clock's not working. The trainer says, no problem. I've got my trusty stopwatch. Yeah, that'll work. Peter Forsberg down the wing beats Alf Sandelson and Mike Canubo. But 2 1, Colorado wins. College hoops. Freshman Corey McGetty from Duke. Big dunk, but a little too much celebration. Ref says that's a technical foul. Next time, look what he does. McGetty. No. And off the back of the rim, his dad can't believe it. Next possession, McGetty finally does it properly. And the crazies from Cameron go nuts. Duke wins it big time. And you gotta watch this. Finally. The finals of the Poland Open Table Tennis Tournament. Johnny Wang from Canada and Kim Tuck Soo from Korea. Sue in the near court, almost in a different time zone, still wins the points. Johnny Wang, got it like that. He fights back, gets the match point, keeps hammering away. Soon in a different room, but Johnny Wang wins the Poland Tournament, going away. And those people are your highlights, Gallagher style. Big fan of the Chicago Blackhawks. Here he is, Eric Vaughn. Hey, thank you, Jay. Wow, it is going to be a wild one tonight, folks. You know, there's only 14 shopping days before Christmas, so with that in mind, Gallagher went out with a couple of the boys from the WWF, Val Venus and Kurgan, and hopefully found Wendy and I a little something to put under the tree. And when we come back, he is here, the man of the hour, Owen Hart. is brought to you in part by Astro GTS, Drive Hard, and by Molson Canadian.
Davis and Donny Osmond have in common? Absolutely nothing. Well, tonight's guest it was one of the good guys turning one of the bad guys of the WWF. Well, what bad can you say about a guy who just spent the last 15 hours helping out with a sports celebrity festival for the Special Olympics? He's the former WWF Rookie of the Year, the youngest of eight wrestling heart brothers. Here he is, the King of Hearts, Owen Hart. <laughs> A standing ovation for Owen Hart. Well, how did you like tonight's festivities seen live on TSN? Good for you. Good day. How awesome. did it go? It was awesome. Uh, Special Olympics, uh, uh, incredible cause. Uh, I got some energy when I got there, and I visited some of the guys, uh, some of the Special Olympians that uh, have done remarkable things. You know, they're, they're skiers, they're swimmers, there's power lifters, and, and uh, I think that uh, they can kind of set an example for all of us, and, and we can get a little bit of energy from each and every one of them because uh, they're remarkable people and, uh, and I take my hat off to them. They're absolutely. <laughs> now your brother was just on. He was on last night, but he was just on the telecast on TSN. He was uh, coming and could dare to tissue that you were the uh, heart brother that got dropped in his head as a baby. Oh my God. See, that's sour grapes from WrestleMania 10 when I beat him <laughs> in Madison Square Garden. So... I don't know, maybe I am the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Ah, oh, you're just looking for some applause. You know what, you may get it. Let's talk about your return to the WWF uh, last Monday. Uh, coming out of that brief retirement, give me the skinny on the retirement. Well, you know, I felt bad. I broke uh, Dan Severn's neck and I left him maimed in the ring. And, and uh, my conscience started playing the best of me. And uh, I took some time off. I retired. And then the Steve Blackman guy starts making allegations that I am the blue blazer. Well, the Blue Blazer was somebody that I was a long time ago, about 10 years ago, and when I was young and silly. And uh, now, uh, you know, I retired, and that was it. I left it at that, and, and these allegations kept coming that I was a Blue Blazer. But uh, yet I couldn't be two places at one time. Owen Hart was there, and all of a sudden this Blue Blazer would jump in and jump someone. Uh, I don't know who the Blue Blazer is. Uh, someone said it was a guy in Winnipeg, Jeff McGuinney. I don't know. Uh, I really don't know who it is, but... Uh, Obviously, it's not me. So, for the record, you are not the Blue Blazer. I'm not. Obviously not. I don't know who it is, but if I can get my hands on the guy, I'd like to uh, discipline him myself. <laughs> like you did to that freak Gold Dust there last week. Oh, man. What's the deal with this guy? Let's see some of the highlights of you last week against Gold Dust. He's a freak, for goodness sakes. Look at him. Oh. <laughs> some hose bag hanging around inside you know she's got no part of the wrestling business but uh she poked her nose in trying to distract me and and uh, you know she give, poked her uh, nose in okay but uh <laughs> not coming up with excuses but that was my first match back out of my long and lengthy retirement you know i just come from sitting on my couch uh, watching the monday night raw <laughs> and next you know i'm in the ring fighting uh, gold dust and i was just wasn't mentally prepared for it now this gold dust guy he's uh, kind of strange he's you know, cross the boundaries. You know, wrestling has pushed the envelope sometimes a little too far. I answer this, Owen. Has wrestling gone too far? Well, a lot of people feel it has. Uh, you know, uh, there's pros and cons to that. The ratings are unbelievable. Wrestling is hotter than it's ever been in its history. Uh -huh. uh, sellout crowds everywhere. You know, we're, we're, when we go into Sky Dome, I heard it's got the biggest advance gate ever for a Monday Night Raw in, in uh, February. Uh, our pay-per-view in Vancouver sold out big time. So there's definite success. But uh, uh, we are pushing... Uh, the risque button, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's, uh, it's getting violent. It's getting uh, a little cruder than I personally would like for my own children. Uh, but that's my children. I just don't, uh, I don't allow them to watch it. But uh, everyone's got their own freedom, their own democracy to do whatever they want. And uh, uh, personally, anything that I do, I'm, I'm proud to say that I can let my children watch or any other fans. Uh, they might not always agree with the dirty tactics that I do, but I, I make sure what I do as a professional athlete in and outside the ring is acceptable uh, to my family and my friends, and I want to uphold the, uh, the heart reputation as uh, being true professionals. Good for you. Uh, you know, it's getting a little risque, and our buddy Vince no McMahon doubt, but... has a real handle on this. Oh, this guy is a fascinating guy. What's, he, what's your relationship with Vince? 
Well, you know, when I started with WWF about 10 years ago, I was so intimidated by Vince McMahon. I, I, uh, I didn't even know at times if he even knew who I was. It's like, you know, hi, Mr. McMahon. And, Mr. McMahon. And yeah, I, I just said, like, does he even know who I really am? It's like, you know, I'm, I'm the Blue Blazer. I'm the young kid that, you know, is just happy to have a job. Mm -hmm. But uh, over 10 years, uh, we've developed a rapport. And, uh, you know, Vince and I are, are uh, I wouldn't say good friends, but we, we get along fine, you know. Uh, this corporate stuff, I don't know what's going on there. He's got, you know, the corporate champions and, and all that other stuff. And I know he's uh, uh, the worst nightmare for Stone Cold Steve Austin. But, uh, you know, me and Vince, you know, we're, we're not tight, but we're not enemies. And, and uh, you know, he's a good promoter, a good guy to work for. He's, he's obviously the best guy in the business for promoting. Well, you've been in trouble with Vince over the years, two summer slams ago. You broke Steve Stone Cold Austin's neck. And what did you go? You went out and bragged about it. Well, that was the highest marketed shirt I ever had. It said, Owen, Owen 316, I just broke Stone Cold's neck. But that wasn't my idea. Somebody else came up with the marketing of the shirt, and uh, I just reaped the benefits in the bank account. But, uh, you know, anytime someone gets hurt like that, uh, especially when it's a neck injury, you feel bad. And, and I never want to see anyone get hurt uh, like a neck injury, you know. And, and it's a, a terrible thing. And I remember the night that that happened. It was devastating to me. And, and uh, thank God he's recovered, and he's doing a lot better now. We'll talk about broken necks, broken bones, some of your opponents coming up. We've got Owen Hart guesting tonight. If you're online, you're on next, along with our fans here, live from Studio 99. Back in the game, we'll see you in two minutes. Time now for the g -Bots. The best from the video vault. Brought to you by JVC. If you'd like free tickets to The Gallagher Show, call 416-490-7075. Meet famous stars and win fabulous prizes. Call today to book yours. Time now for Hey This Happened, brought to you by the Esquire Watch Company. Back on this day in 1987, Larry Bird, the all-time Celtics great, ends a streak of 59 consecutive free throws. Too bad, just one more would have given him the free toaster oven. Hey, this happened. Welcome back to Gallagher, everybody. We are picking names on the net tonight. Our question is, which is your favorite Owen Hart nickname? So far in third place, we have the Black Heart. In second, we have the King of Hearts. And in first, we have Nugget. Back later with the final results. Over to you guys. Hey, you know, the wrestling fans know what nugget means. And it's not good. I mean, you... Well, as far as I know, a nugget is something you get at a drive through window at McDonald's, you know, a little chicken. <laughs> so it's something that everybody likes. It's delicious. And, you know, or the little Hershey chocolate, chocolate dip nuggets. Or something that's like, you know, gold nuggets, like 14 karat gold plated. So I'm thinking it's something good. In the you know. bottom of a pan, you know, with the 49ers. Good for you. It's definitely not something in a toilet. Well, good. See, there. You know. All right, so you, you said earlier one of your highlights, if not the highlight, was WrestleMania 10. You beat your brother Brett, Madison Square Garden, your whole family's there. Your family, man, what a great Canadian story, huh? Yeah, it's uh, very fortunate to have uh, 12 kids in the family. I'm the youngest of 12. Um, <laughs> my mother and father, you know, uh, through thick and thin, stayed together and raised us. And, and uh, I know my, my mom never wanted us to become wrestlers, and she certainly did not want my sisters marrying wrestlers. And... Uh, both of those uh, nightmares came true. Uh, we are all wrestlers in some form or another, and my sister's all married wrestlers. Oh, man! So uh, it's a zoo up at the house at Christmas time for Christmas dinners and stuff like that. You know, your mom's running out of videotape because she, she taped last night's show, and now tonight, come on, put it on. <laughs> put, put a 90 in there, Helen. Yeah, really. We have, we have Eric somewhere out there. John, venturing into the danger zone by the pen here, we have a message, I am the blue blazer. Oh, there my, Jay. We found him. I, I was just wonder if you would ever consider going to like WCW to be with your brother. Well, you know, I've been asked that a lot, and uh, I have no desire to go down there. I'm very happy with WWF. It's been a so you know, there's been a lot of speculation about it, and uh, I know all my family went down there, and uh, I had an opportunity to go down there, and I talked to Vince McMahon. It was about a year ago at this time, and uh, he uh, he was a man of his word. He fulfilled all the commitments that he promised me, and and. Uh, uh, I have no desire to go down there. I have my friends in WWF. I wish my family would come back to WWF because uh, 
truly that's where the Hart Foundation belongs is right back in WWF. We'll get it back together and, and reunite one day, I hope. Here, here. Wendy, who do we have from across this fine country? Well, we have Cameron McKay from Winnipeg, Manitoba, who writes, Owen, in your mind, who are some of the most underrated wrestlers in the WWF today? Besides yourself, of course. Well, of course, besides myself. Thank you. Um, well, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of upcoming new stars right, right from Canada here. Uh, actually, Canada's got some of the best newcomers. Edge, Val Venus, uh, Kurgan, the big giant. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, they're all Canadian boys. Uh, Tiger Alley Singh is another Canadian boy. Uh, and they're new and they're fresh and, and they're hip to what's going on. They're hip to what people want to see. Uh, they're athletic. Uh, they're entertaining. And, uh, you know, they just got to pay their dues a little bit like I did 10 years ago wearing that silly blue blazer mask. <laughs> you know, and their time will come and they'll be the stars of the uh, new millennium. Mm -hmm. Val and Kurgan and I won Christmas shopping. You'll see that in two, three, four minutes. Eric! Don yes. Flutie! Thank you, John. Owen is, or rather for Owen, here is Scott. How you doing, Owen? Just a question. How does the whole confrontation between your brother and the World Wrestling Federation affected you and your career and the relationship with Vince McMahon? Well, a year ago, it was a really hard time. You know, I got, uh, you got to figure, you got your, your closest people in the world is your family, and then I got my boss who's controlling my livelihood, and I was stuck right in the middle there in between both of them. Because uh, Brett asked you to leave and almost demanded that you do. Yeah, and, and he was going through a really hard emotional time. He had a 14-year relationship with Vince that, that you know, uh, despite when anyone says they were very, very close, and uh, both of them were hurt and licking their wounds after the whole scenario was done, and, and those uh, wounds were very deep. And uh, I still think to this day, both, both parties affected were emotionally uh, involved. And uh, I was thrust in between watching my family who had, you know, I got my break in WWF through Brett, who got me in there initially. And, and to see him gone, and not just in a, in a mild way, but a very nasty, harsh way, the way he left. Uh, and uh, to be pitted right against, like, Jesus, this is my livelihood, this is my only career. There's not a lot of options if you're a professional wrestler. And, uh, you know, you can't just say, well, okay, I'll go uh, get a job somewhere else. You know, I'm, I was limited. And I was real, I'm very happy with WWF, and I was at the time. And when this whole thing came upon, uh, it was right around Christmas, and it was, it was really chaotic, and I had Brett tell me one thing. And I went back and forth with Vince McMahon. We worked out an agreement. And uh, one year later, um, I can't complain. It's been a lot better than... Uh, it could have been. The first cut is the deepest. Plug away. Big pay-per-view event on Sunday in Vancouver. Go nuts. Well, I'm going to go nuts on Steve Blackman. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, there, there, there's a couple of factors. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to have it in my own country in Canada, and I always love wrestling in my own country, whether they boo me or they cheer me. But for the most part, uh, in Canada, they, they like me very much. And, and uh, Steve Blackman was the one that brought me off my couch when I was retired, enjoying myself, and <laughs> now I'm thrust back into the ring, and, and uh, Steve Blackman is the lethal weapon, but when I get my hands on him, I'm going to punish him. All right, do we, uh, give me a move that you're going to give him on Sunday. What's it called, the backhanded chicken flop? Yeah, you're close enough. I'll, I'll call it, it's a cross-faced chicken wing. Oh, it's just one good. of the many submission holds that my dad taught me down in the dungeon. All right, if I turn blue, let me know, studio audience, all okay, right? Okay, so I hook this arm here like this. Okay. Oh, arm comes across oh, the yeah. throat. <laughs> and then it's just... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good luck in that rock bottom pay per view. Oh, and the heart, the king of hearts. Now, have you finished all your Christmas shopping? I think not. Our wrestling pals Val Venus and Kurgan went shopping today at the Bay. And uh, take a look at this. It was a windfall, folks. You'll love this. scent that would attract some of the sexiest women on the face of this planet. We have some Sarah, Alfred Sung, Shalimar. What exactly were you looking for? Do you happen to have anything in WWF? Yeah, actually I do, right here. Why don't you try oh. that on? Take a whiff of this chick magnet, tough guy. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> right. Mm. Right you like that, huh? You know, no Christmas shopping spree is complete without some lingerie for the young lady in your life. Ladies. <laughs> there you go. Now, what do you think? You think it'll fit? Maybe, uh, you should get Kurrigan to try it on. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> it's all yours, big guy. Have fun. Yeah, it's just...
This underwear feels pretty good. <laughs> feel like a new man. Hey, hey Tina. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Kurgan. And what can Santa bring you for Christmas? Well, let me see. Let me see. Uh, goodwill towards men, mm -hmm. uh, peace on earth, harmony. And I like to get six inches taller, if I, if I can. Oh, that's a tall order, Kurgan. Oh, 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 <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Hello, Santa! Oh, oh, hello! <laughs> and what can I have to bring you for Christmas? What can you bring me for Christmas? <laughs> Hi, I'm Ken Shamrock, world's most dangerous man. Watch Gallagher on TSN. Ouch, that's got to hurt. Gallagher is brought to you in part by Castrol GTX. Drive hard. And by Molson Canadian. <laughs> is brought to you by JVC. Technically perfect, perfectly simple. Join us Friday night for Coach Butch Carter of the Toronto Raptors. 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific on TSN. Welcome back to Gallery, everybody. Well, the votes have been tabulated, and the winner tonight is the notorious nickname Nugget. There you have it. Good chat with you guys. Fiance, over to you. All right, Wendy, the country has spoken. People, say hi to James Duffy. How are you, James? How you doing, Johnny? Oh, James. What's going on in the big world of sports tonight, baby? Well, we're going to do something radical tonight. We're going to show you some hockey highlights. Ottawa and Florida in a wild game tonight. We have early highlights from the Habs in Phoenix. The Oilers trying to break out of their slump in Chicago. Felix Potvash speaks out for the first time since walking out on the Leafs. He said, I quote, I've walked out on the Leafs. Jose Canseco signs with a D-raise. All that coming up on Sports Desk in just a couple of minutes. <laughs> well done. Tell me where does the time go? It's been a great night. I can't thank Owen Hart enough for coming out. He's involved, by the way, in the biggest Raw ever, February 8th at Skydome, and the party's right here. Great guy from a great family. Now, as you know, this is the time to show appreciation to our friends and family, so I want to send my thanks and best wishes to you, the viewers, who I like to consider a big part of the Gallagher clan. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you here tomorrow. Sports Desk is next. Good night.